Uh, hey folks, Robin Taylor again. We're here talking about a new base pad we came up with, the Glock 43. The Glock 43 combined with the Smith & Wesson Shield are two of the most popular concealed carry handguns in the country. So we've already got some good stuff for the Shield, and we decided we'd bring something out for the 43. In the process of doing that, we actually have been studying, I'm not sure if the word is problems, but uh, issues that come up when you're trying to, con trying to conceal uh, deep conceal small handguns. The primary complaint that people have about the 43, particularly using the, the factory base pad, and I'll move down to my stuff here so you can see it better, is that by the time you take a 43 and use the little short easy to conceal base pad, it's a little too easy because at this point my fingers start coming off the bottom and the gun becomes un really unshootable by normal people. And the Smith & Wesson Shield does the same sort of thing. If you put the factory base pad in the shield, it's quite short. So what I end up doing is taking one of our plus one extensions, and I run this kind of a setup because I can get my hand on it. If people have heavier hands, they'll go to our, they'll put our plus one extension onto an eight round magazine. And it gives them a lot of room to work with for guys with, with wide hands. I mean, that works out slick. You'll also see products on the market that are plus two extensions. You know, it seems like there's to be an ever-growing market of extensions making these longer and longer and longer, which misses the point. This gun in this configuration is actually fairly difficult to conceal because of the length of the magazine. If I want to run a magazine that's that long, why don't I just go out and get a magazine like this? This is a full-size Glock 17 magazine which would have a full-size Glock 17 logically wrapped around it. This gives me 9 rounds, this gives me 17 rounds. I could get a Glock 19 or something like that, or a Glock 26, which is one of my favorites, um, but then it's quite fat. So there's a balance we have to strike between the thinness and the shortness of the magazine. Otherwise, we just go out and get full-size guns. When we started applying that logic to the 40... Oh, I'm sorry. When we... We're working on the shield. We discovered by wearing it all the time that this setup actually hides pretty well. It's fairly short and the, the butt end of the gun is kind of rounded and it doesn't print very badly. So when we go to the longer magazine, this tends to be harder to hide because this prints worse. It's still it's still pretty good compared to most guns, but it's it prints more because it sticks out further. The same logic applies to the 43. Set up like this, the gun is practically invisible. Set up with the factory base pad on it, with the factory plus one on it, it's pretty good still, um, but it starts to it starts to print a little bit around these sharp corners. It's not bad, but it starts to print a little bit around those sharp corners. And, but if you put a plus two or a plus three extension on it, now we're back into why am I not just carrying a Glock 17? It becomes almost as long as a full-size magazine. So in the experimenting we did with this, we discovered that the real problem was the butt. The real, the real area where you have where the gun is going to print and, expo and you know, potentially put you in a bad social situation is because of that butt end. So sitting down with Mike Fox, we figured out a way uh, to create a plus one extension, which I have in my hand here, that has almost the same profile as the factory extension, but it gives you an extra round of ammunition. The butt is still quite rounded and easy to hide, but the front end is a little bit longer and has a little bit of a pinky hook to it to give you more positive control of the gun. I have fairly small hands, so it's easy for me to get on a 43. I can almost shoot a 43 without, without an extension on it, but not really. But with this on there, um, I have very positive control of the gun, and even guys with heavy hands can have enough purchase on that that uh, they, they can get on it. Mike, my machinist tool, I'll try to get to here in a minute, in a, in a minute has much heavier hands than I do, and so we, you know, we bounce all of these things off of each other to see how they work ergonomically. My name is Mike Fox, I'm with Taylor Freelance, and I was, uh, I'm the CNC lead here, and I was involved with designing this uh, Glock 43 plus one wedge base pad. Uh, in the design process, we were trying to keep it as small and concealable as possible, that's why we have this this pretty extreme 
uh, chamfer around the bottom, and uh, but we still wanted to make it controllable to shoot because if you're going to use your gun, you want to be able to use it controlled. So Robin has skinning fingers, and he can comfortably get all his fingers on there. Um, I have fatter fingers, but I can still. My pinky is about 90% on the grip and it flares out at the bottom and that really helps keep your fingers up and your grip, your hand high on the grip. 